The first step is to check the ILO version installed on our DL560 Gen 10 server. The next thing is to download the latest firmware. To do so, you should simply look for the phrase ILO5 firmware in your favorite web browser. The first link will be the HP support page. Now, as we're working from a remote machine, we should choose the version that corresponds to its operating system. After you have the file on your laptop or workstation, you double-click on the file. Next, you choose to extract, not install. In the bunch of extracted files, you will find one with a .bin extension. This guy is the actual firmware we're looking for. Now we go back to the ILO GUI. We click on Firmware tab and then Update Firmware. Tick on Local File and then from the Browse option pick the .bin file we've extracted earlier. The tricky part here is to leave the also store in our repository tick box blank. Then you click on flash and the procedure starts. After the firmware update is done, the ILO will reset, but that will not affect the productivity of the server. The same procedure can be done to flush the BIOS of the server, but it will require you to restart the whole machine. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.